The Ashtavakrab Gita is a revered Hindu scripture that is part of the Indian text, the Mahabharata. It is a conversation between the sage Ashtavakra and King Janaka, who was a renowned philosopher and the father of Devi Sita, the wife of Lord Rama. This text is considered a profound and advanced philosophical and spiritual work. The name Ashtavakra comes from the legend that the sage was born with eight physical deformities or bends in his body. Despite his physical appearance, he was highly knowledgeable and wise, and his teachings are the foundation of the Ashtavakra Gita. It consists of a series of dialogues between the sage and King Janaka, covering various aspects of life, reality, and self-realization. It delves deeply into Advaita Vedanta, a non-dualistic school of Hindu philosophy, and explores concepts such as the illusory nature of the world, the true self or the Atman, and the path to self-realization or spiritual enlightenment. The central theme of this powerful text is that the self is beyond the physical body and the external world and is eternally free and pure. Ashtavakra delves deep into the concept of non-duality to enlighten King Janaka from the illusory matrix which we call reality. Non-duality is a philosophical and spiritual concept that essentially means not two or non-dual. It is the idea that there is only one ultimate reality which is unchanging and indivisible and everything in the universe, including individual beings and the physical world, is ultimately an expression or manifestation of this one reality. Ashtavakra teaches that there is an underlying, unchanging, and undivided reality often referred to as Brahman. This Brahman is the source and essence of everything in the universe. There is no fundamental distinction between this ultimate reality and the individual self. Each person has an inner self or consciousness known as Atman. This individual self is not separate from the universal reality. Instead, it is an extension or reflection of the same ultimate reality. What we commonly perceive as a multitude of separate and distinct entities in the world, including people, animals, objects, and even the concept of space and time, is considered an illusion. These distinctions are temporary and superficial, masking the underlying unity of existence. Imagine there is a rope in front of you, but due to poor lighting or a trick of the mind, you mistake it for a snake in the dark. The snake you perceive is an illusion. When you bring a light or realize the true nature of the object, you see that it was always just a rope. The snake was a false perception created by your mind. Similarly, the world we perceive is like that illusory snake, and the ultimate reality is the rope. Non-duality means that, at the deepest level of existence, there is only one reality, often referred to as Brahman. This is the unchanging, undivided, and eternal essence of the universe. Everything we see, feel, and experience in the world is like the illusory snake. It's a product of our perceptions and the limitations of our senses and mind. In reality, there is no fundamental separation or duality between ourselves, the individual Atman, and this ultimate reality, Brahman. Non-duality asserts that the perceived divisions and distinctions we encounter in our daily lives, such as the separation between individuals, objects, and the world, are illusions. These apparent dualities are products of our limited perception, just as the snake is a product of misperception in the dark. To realize non-duality is to understand that the individual self is, at its core, identical to the ultimate reality. Just as the rope is the underlying reality of the illusory snake, the unchanging and eternal Brahman is the underlying reality of the diverse and ever-changing world we experience. Recognizing this oneness and realizing the unity of the self with Brahman is the key to spiritual liberation and enlightenment according to the Ashtavakra Gita. The practice of detachment plays the most vital role in attaining self-realization and becoming free from the illusory matrix. Detachment refers to a mental and emotional state where an individual frees themselves from excessive attachment to worldly desires, possessions, and ego. Detachment in Advaita Vedanta means liberating oneself from strong attachment to the transient and impermanent aspects of the material world. This includes attachments to wealth, relationships, material possessions, 
and even attachment to one's own ego or self-identity. Detachment involves lessening or even transcending desires for material possessions, sensual pleasures, and external achievements. These desires are often seen as distractions that keep individuals entangled in the cycle of suffering and rebirth or samsara. Through its practice, individuals can cultivate a sense of inner peace and equanimity. They become less affected by the ups and downs of life as their happiness and well-being are not dependent on external circumstances. It's important to note that detachment does not mean renouncing a world or leading a life of austerity and asceticism. Rather, it involves maintaining a balanced and harmonious relationship with the world while not becoming overly entangled or identified with it. Detachment does not require one to abandon their responsibilities or relationships, but to engage with them from a perspective of inner freedom and non-attachment. Ashtavakra teaches that detachment is considered a stepping stone to realizing the non-dual truth and achieving liberation from the cycle of birth and death. It is a means to move beyond the illusory separations created by the ego and to experience the oneness of all existence. Self-realization is not merely an intellectual understanding, but a direct and experiential realization of one's true nature. It is a profound and transformative experience that transcends ordinary egoic consciousness. It is the key to liberation or moksha. Once an individual realizes their true nature as non-dual, they are free from the cycle of birth and death and the associated suffering. They attain a state of permanent bliss and unity with the ultimate reality or the Brahman. According to Ashtavakra, there are various means to facilitate self-realization including self-inquiry, meditation, contemplation, and the guidance of a realized spiritual teacher. These practices help individuals remove the ignorance and false identifications that obscure their true nature. Self-realization is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process of deepening one's understanding and experience of the non-dual truth. It is a journey of self-discovery and the gradual dissolution of the ego's influence. It is considered the ultimate goal of human life in Advaita Vedanta. It is the recognition of the self as eternal, limitless, and non-dual, and it leads to the end of suffering and the attainment of spiritual liberation. This realization allows individuals to live in a state of inner peace, love, and harmony, knowing their true identity as one with the infinite consciousness of Brahman.